Hello again, YouTubers. This is F5 doing the newest episode of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. I'm just going to carry on from where I was last time. This anime. Why in the world is it so cold inside Broadway? Is something odd with the AC? If you're not doing anything, find out what's going on. Oh, cool. So it's like questing myself. Broadway. Uh. Let's have a little look down here. Oh, this is something. Whoa, it's for freezing here. Did the AC break or something? There's a digital point here, so... Dreary girl. You can hear this cold. Huh? Her voice cut out. I wonder what's up. Cool. Kyoko. Me again. I've got a new case for you. Why don't you drop on by so we can talk? Hmm. That was unusual. Is that girl just going to be there forever now? <laughs> like she can never leave. I've got two new cases. Uh, let's see. Urgent case for Mirai. Um, time capsule snowballman. I think that's it. Farm expansion. Awesome. There is something wrong with the air conditioner in Broadway. Find the cause. Let's do this. From what I can gather, the air conditioner inside Nakano Broadway is on the fritz. It just keeps pumping in cold air constantly, and nobody can switch the heating on. Thing is, nobody can find anything wrong with it, and the businesses have lost cat, lost about what to do. That's where we come in. People aren't getting much work done, so I told them to leave it to us. If we can get to the bottom of the mess, I'm sure they'll just love us forever for it. So this is kind of like to build up our reputation. Oh, is that girl again? Huh? You keep getting transmissions from someone. Hmm. Isn't she a cutie? Oh, low battery, that's not good. Uh. The white noise is really bad. I can't make out what she's saying. Where's this coming? Oh, it cut her out again. Damn it, cut out. What? You're saying the same transmission came in where it was cold? Hmm. We might be closing in on the case. If so, our next step is to resolve this thing, plain and simple. I'm going to see if I can figure out where that signal's coming from. You ask around about the air conditioning. Sure. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I think it was around here. It was around here. Hmm. Wait a sec. <laughs> Asking for Broadway. It's weird. It definitely feels cold, but when I check the thermometer, it hasn't gone down or anything. I really enjoyed eating, but there were so many hackers that I quit. It's still like that. Guess I can't talk to that person. Or that person. Uh Oh, it's that girl. Can I talk to her or not? Oh, okay. That's odd. Like, I thought I could be able to talk to this girl, but. Well, welcome in. Not sure if she's shy or if she's just cold. This place is a great selection of comics and magazines, and the one I wanted came out today. Hmm. Wow. Well, that sucks. Whenever I get tired or 2RF on the floor before I come by here. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, no, that's not it. 
Is it just me or is it really cold in here today? Maybe I should go home. I got a message from a super cute girl. I mean, the connection dropped immediately, but I feel like I've seen it before, but where? He sent me a Digiline message, so I wrote back. But I keep on waiting, and the reply hasn't come. It's because he hasn't sent one yet. Maybe he doesn't know what to say. But if he's interested, he'll write you back. Well, I guess that girl's waiting for a date. Hmm. Can't go down that escalator like that. I think I'm just getting a little bit turned around in it. Guess I'll go down one, I think. CD shop. Let's see what we can do. There. Has this guy got anything? It's hard to find small acts here. There are a lot more selection of Shibuya records than Shibuya. What? That made no sense. Jimenkins are as popular as ever. He's at the top of the Indies charts on every shop. Isn't that the girl we met just a million ago? She looks exactly the same. Like I'm not sure if there's mu not much change in like character models or what. These people just don't want to talk to me at all. Oh, and I'm. I want expert middle. Yeah, I'll try um, floor four. See if there's anything up here I can find. A metal manic is someone who really likes them, right? I gave him some rare metal the other day and he paid me a whole lot for them. Oh yeah, I've got like a bunch I can give. Ah, the lovely river of coffee. Always the boss. But I'm totally broke, so I can't drink any. Well, it sucks to be you, dude. K Cafe is such a relaxing mood. It's easy to just sit here for hours. The witches are nice, too. Oh, you're here to give me a medal, too? Uh, yeah, Digimon medals on the middleman. Yeah, I can give him a bunch of medals now. I want to sell medals. You bought me some medals. Nice. Sell all medals. Don't tell my wife. I guess, like, that's not great for him. My medals just go to the collect the metal manic guy. I come here every day after class, but where should I play today? The floors above our residential Broadway is such an interesting building. It's kind of cool having a detective as a buddy. I'm not leaving until I've beaten my best scores. To me, games are not just games. They are constant battles for my future self. Presenting the Offline Coliseum, I'm your host, the cute kitty maid. Aruru! Is there anything you'd like to ask me out? What's an official Coliseum? Official Coliseum is a place where tamers meet to trust their strength. The Coliseum has six different competition levels. Winning each cup gives you furious prizes. Oh uh, yeah, there's nothing I want to ask. I'm trying to think where I'm supposed to go, like... I did a bit of searching, because I went all around Broadway to find this, and I finally found someone who actually wants to talk to me. You want to know about the AC broke? Beats me, I have no idea. It's odd, we don't have any central unit anymore, so I don't know how anyone could... how anyone could tell the AC got out. Huh? You don't know what about the central unit? Back when this place first opened, there was this big underground unit that controlled the AC for the whole building. Sure feels like the old central unit going out. Wait, why is that low battery? I've just been charging it. Um, the way it looked was the very store circulated the cool air up to the stores with fans. Cool. Why? There was a central unit underground at all. Yeah, why was there a central unit underground? Well, that was to refrigerate a certain something. <laughs> what do you think it was? It was Japan's oldest vacuum tube computer. Can you believe it? The room that computer was housed in was right here in Nakano. Sad to say, I have no idea what happened to it. There's nothing left of it anymore. And even if there was, there was no records left. Nobody remembers where it was either. The room itself might as well have been an urban legend. Might still be there somewhere. 
I can tell you one thing, it's really cold. Well, it, it's done wonders for coffee sales today. I guess, looking on the bright side of things. I figured out where the signal came from. Go back to the office and where you can, alright? Nice work in your investigation. Now, what have you got to report? Hmm. This is the first I've heard of this computer room. But with that info, it's all starting to click for me now. Like I mentioned before, I figured out who the girl in those trash transmissions is. Her name is Fumi Yuki. She was a breakout idol a few decades back. What we've been seeing, the avatar on the screen, is her when she was in her prime as an idol. Somebody is using her as a using a terminal inside Nakano Broadway and broadcasting her likeness. And the signal seems to be coming from the fourth floor. Look at the map. It's right inside of the wall at Cafe K. K Cafe, I mean. The whole thing was played out like a horror story, hasn't it? A long lost idol relaying her message from inside a wall. But with your report, it's all coming together now. We've uncovered a piece of Nakano Broadway history. And not even the owner of K Cafe, as to go historian, could claim to know. But enough talk, it's time to head back to K Cafe. I'll be coming along with this one too. Scared man of snow woman. I got a message from a girl, and when I answered it was so cold all of a sudden. It's the snow woman. She's cursed us. It has to be her. I can hardly believe it, but it's definitely been very, very, very chilly in here. I've got a bad feeling about this. Maybe I'll just go home. Heh, <laughs> the snow woman. The MO sure does fit with the folktale, even if the idol's name, Fuyumi Yuki, means winter snow woman. The snow woman herself shows up in hot lots of stories from regions with cold climates, definitely the first time she's taken form in an AE's idol. But it's pretty fitting for Nakano Broadway, all things considered. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say, girly. Still, don't act quickly. She's going to damage this place's reputation, so let's get move on already. <laughs> oh, there we are. This is it. The transmission should be coming from the other side from here. Yet yeah, there's no door, and there's no signs of the wall being tampered with. What's going on here? Another transmission. That just confirms we're in the right spot then. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like the looks of this. Yeah. If it's like she's noticed us trying to meddle with her, and now it's even colder. You're probably less affected by her tricks thanks to your unique body. Still a bit freaky though, I guess. Hey, did you find something? I see, so there's an entry point into cyberspace inside that wall. Don't worry about me, you go on ahead and get in there. And there I go. Let's see. Wall hack, worry. Oh, there's an item. Uh, I, don't, I can't get it anyway. Oh, Digimons. Yeah, but I don't need to fight these dudes. I love the way he, like, Zuber Egamon looks now. He looks so cool from the back. Kind of interesting what his attacks look like though. Now that he's got a different shaped body. So he went from two legs to four legs. I feel like this is going to be maze like. I just get that feeling. Hopefully, I don't like, have to wander around here for too long. Like, that was just like, where I just was. Oh, Botamons. And run. Yeah, I don't need to fight these dudes. 
Oh, they won't let me run away. That sucks. Let's hit him. And there you go, some Botamons. At least our, um, Zuba Egamon will get some level ups. It was annoying that I had to, like, fight them. Because they wouldn't let me leave. This feels like the right way. Oh, I can just jump down here. Digimon. Oh, a Karamon. I've actually wanted to find these guys for a while because they've got some cool Digivolution stick, um, like evolutions you can do with them. And he's like a dark variant, which I can't get my hands on until I've found a bunch of these guys because they opened like a new set of Digimon for me. Guess I go down here, question mark. Oh, there she is. You you came. Thank you. No. Oh. Please help me. Oh, it's a uh, Wanyamon. Oh, sound of cold. Oh, it's a Frigimon. Colder. It's not cold enough. Not until everyone is frozen. Yeah, I'm so annoyed with you. I guess I'm going to be defeating this thing. I think it's the first time I've run into a Frigimon. Sub Zero Ice Punch! Good thing I got a fire type, mate. I'm not sure how much an electric type move would do, but. Oh, more than I thought it would. Let's see. Vanethian. Oh, it does criticals. Nice. Let's try a walk and palm three. Instantly dead. Like that poor like Frigimon didn't stand a chance. So much XP. Brr, it was so cold. Thanks for taking care of him. That was one nasty glitch. You saved the day, really. You must have come over when you heard my voice, right? You didn't. You're a cyber sleuth working a case. I don't really get it. But whatever. All well and ends well. Pujima's rampaging really did cause so much trouble. Really? Huh? Who am I? Well, to be honest, I don't really know myself. I've been stuck asleep inside this wall for a whole time, you see. Hey, it's finally stopped blowing cold air out here. Great job, you did so much, you must be tired. That would have been a real sad state of affairs if we'd somehow managed to freeze to death here in Tokyo of all places. Hmm? You found a cat Digimon with amnesia. Well, you solve one mystery only to stumble into another, it seems. Come back here and we'll have a look into it. An amnesic Digimon here. Every time I think I've seen everything, I get proven wrong yet again. I take it that the transmissions were Fumiyuki were you're doing then. Yeah, I wasn't able to move around once Frigimon started going crazy, so I had to call help. Somehow I just sent out those messages. Well, I did come from a vacuum tube computer inside a wall. You were inside that computer? Then that means the Vacuum 2 computer was really there behind the wall the whole time. I've been asleep inside the computer for a really long time. I only woke up just recently. And when I did, I had no idea what I was, what I was doing, or what I was doing inside that wall. So I decided to go and see what I could learn. And well, when I stumbled upon the internet, connecting the Vacuum 2 to the rest of the building. Intranet? You must mean networking lines that only operate inside Nakano Broadway. Yeah, so I was just playing around that was when Frigimon suddenly appeared. It was really a Digimon that was created as a re result of a glitch in the air conditioning system. 
But I managed to use the internet to sneak into the vacuum tube computer I was living in. I see, so it all makes sense now. That must have just been why nobody could find anything wrong with the system when they checked it. Frenchy man just went completely insane and wouldn't listen to me. Eventually I couldn't even move with all the casting cold. It was terrible. How awful, I had no idea. It's hard to believe such an old computer was even still operational to begin with too. But its existence is probably a remnant of centralized AC system the cafe owner mentioned before. The wiring must have been hooked up pretty poorly for Frigimon to be able to rake such havoc then. And therein lies the root of how this all managed to happen. I imagine even our conversation right now must be going through that intranet as well. By the way, is there any reason why you chose to appear as an idol in those transmissions? Well, she was just cute, I guess. Um... It's simple, I just thought someone cute like her would make someone want to come and help me. I picked Fiumi Yuki especially because, well, she was amazing when she was popular. She could sing, she could dance, and she looks... Fiumi had nothing, you weren't an idol. Oh yeah. It was also a, a world's affair around the time her career was really starting to take off. There was a lot long line in, from the moon rocks. Wait, why do I remember that? I don't even know my own name. I think I get what's going on here. It looks like we've encountered a decades old time capsule. Time capsule? What's that? Your memories aren't just raw bits of information. They're more than that. They have a certain humanity to them, let's say. I bet you're somebody's old memories, stashed away along with that vacuum tube computer you've been living in. That's what time capsules are for. What am I? But memories are not. That doesn't make you any less empathetic as a creature to encounter. Either way, this case is wrapped up now. We'll look into what's up with this cat Digimon later. Truly, there's no other place than Nakano. Quite like Nakano. Time capsule snow weapon. That's uh, snow weapon. <laughs> Time Capsule Snow Woman complete. Report back to the Detective Agency. Yay, farm extension. Still, you have a real knack for getting us involved in a lot of stuff. So thanks for always keeping it interesting around here. What's going on now? Chapter 3. Digital Monster. You called me here, Nokia. What is it? Gomenne, ikinari yobidashi chatte. Meiwaku datta kana. Ano, kimi ni kiite hoshii koto ga atte. Sono, chizu wa ne, hatashi, hatashi ne. What's going on? Very confused. つまり依頼人は君の友人か。何報酬さえちょうだい。いやあの友達に頼み事があっただけなんですけど。そういうわけにはいかない。知らみねのきよ君。この子はすでに報酬を受け取ってし、プロへの頼み事となれば。それすなわち依頼に他ならぬ私の助手への依頼は詰まるところわがりまじだこんな大事にする気はなかったんだけどそれでまあ、はい。実はあるデジモンを探してほしくて デジモンを覚えてるでしょクーロンで私を助けてくれたデジモンのことああ、she Oh, she doesn't feel comfortable without being around me. Oh, 
デジモンにご就寝とは面白い娘さんだ<笑>さて彼女のご指名は君だこの件は君に任せようと思うがどうする本当助けてくれるやったーうん仕事を請け負ったからには最後まできっちりやり通してくれたまえうちの評判にも影響するかもしれないその点じゃあじゃあじゃあまずはこの前ログアウトした場所に行きたいんだけど私もいろいろ準備とかあるからクーロンで待ち合わせしようそれじゃ、sure. また後でっていうか今度は遅れないでよね尋ね人ならぬ尋ねデジモンか電脳探偵にふさわしい依頼内容じゃないか<笑>よろしいでは早速調査を開始したまえん私がいつもより楽しそうだってそう見えるなら否定はしないだが事実を告げるならばデジモンを探してくれなどという突飛な依頼に少々戸惑っていく愛着を抱くことに関して人はとことん無頓実に面白いじゃないか<笑> Yeah I'm wondering why she's so amused by this as well Um, I think I'll end this episode here. Um, we've gotten pretty late into it. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and put some comments in the comments below. And with that, Zerpify out.